ranking the top 10 strongest oh. units in total tower defense. And we're gonna have units such as the upgraded Titan Cameraman, Scientist TV Man, and you won't believe what the strongest unit in total tower defense is. But first, we're gonna start off with the number 10, which is gonna be the Green Laser Cameraman. And he's only $150 at the beginning. And he does a lot of damage and you can upgrade him for very, very cheap. He targets units and does super good damage. And look at this, he's literally slowing this minigun toilet totally down. That's another perk. But also, he does 400 damage every 0.5 seconds just for it with a few upgrades. And his DPS is really, really good. And he's the best starting unit because he's very cheap to upgrade. And he takes down units pretty fast. So for number nine unit, we're gonna do the large laser cameraman. He's a bit more expensive at $450, but he does a lot more damage. Now, the best thing about the large laser cameraman is that he actually has stun protections. Look at this. Like, they can't even stun him. And his DPS is really good if you upgrade him a lot. And his range is also super mass compared to something like the green laser cameraman, which doesn't really have that much. So it's obviously number 10, but like his range is crazy. For the number eight unit, I'm actually gonna say the scientist TV man. As you can see, he's super good at the beginning. He actually stops the small unit. And as you upgrade him, the barrier gets better and you actually get cameramans that actually fight back against the toilet. And it's also super good protection against, you know, the toilet city or your base because, you know, there's a wall protecting it. And I feel like he's a super overrated and underrated unit, if you know what I mean. You know, my God, look at this. We're literally about to lose, but you know what? We have the scientist TV man. So I'm actually gonna place him down like right here and let's see what happens, all right? Let, let, let's see if they get past the toilet barrier. Yeah, I don't think anything's gonna get past this, all right? The next unit that's super good is the shield cameraman. And he's number seven because, you know, he shields a stun unit. He can't get stunned and he's pretty cheap with the upgrade. And he's a super good starting unit as well. And look at this. You can't even get stunned by the dual claw toilet if you guys saw. He just took him down easily. He does 3,000 damage every single second. But where he fails in comparison is gonna be like with the small toilets because, you know, he only does... Where his cooldown's very, very slow, like one second, which is pretty slow because um some of these toilets are gonna get past them. But he's super good when it comes to units that have a lot of health. And then once you upgrade him a lot, he is, his cooldown gets very, very low. And another perk is that you can literally put a lot of them and, you know, they don't get stunned. And it's super good for hard and nightmare mode, especially when a lot of stun units come. Like here, for example, how the dual calls are uh, kind of getting destroyed by him and they can't even stun. And sometimes units try to stun him, but kind of deflects on them, you know? And look at this, he's gonna destroy this boss solo. Are you kidding me right now? His DPS is super good. I'm gonna use him, all right? I'm gonna show him some love. And honestly, right here, he's doing pretty good. He's doing pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of toilets coming. And the real test is gonna be with the mutant toilet. Let's see if the mutant, okay, I don't even think the mutant toilet is gonna try to mess with him because he already knows. But he literally took down the mutant toilet by himself. And look at this, if I upgraded to max level, which is not even that expensive compared to the other units that we're gonna do in, later in this video. He's super fast. Wow. Okay, that, that toilet got destroyed. Now look at these large minigun toilets. Like, they literally stun units very easily. But they didn't stun him, but also his range is pretty good as well. Number six is gonna be the secret agent. Yeah, this shouldn't come to a surprise because the secret agent's super good. He does like one of the, uh, probably the most damage out of any unit in the game. And look at this, this large mutant toilet's about to come over here. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna place the secret agent and he just got deleted. That's how good the secret agent is and you can literally sell him and then you know what? Okay, there's another like large glass of stone. But as you can see, there's a giant glass of stone over here. So you know what? I'm gonna place him down like right. Okay, let's just put him down right here. Boom. Oh my God. Okay, he did a lot of damage. You know what? We're gonna sell him and we're gonna put him down again and he's gonna get, oh, uh, we delete another boss toilet. You know what? There's another boss toilet over here. Get deleted. And you know what? We need to take down this giant glass of stone. So we're gonna put him down again. And look at this. You can keep doing that so you don't lose the game because especially these large toilets do a lot of damage to your base over here and you don't wanna lose the game. You wanna win the game. So the uh, secret agent really helps with that. And you know what? Oh my God, wait a minute. These minigun toilets are actually making it through. Place them down and boom, get deleted. And you know what? Although it only has a thousand health, I'm gonna get it deleted. It's literally just as simple as that and I'm literally doing it right now. Okay, I'm actually gonna put it to the strongest. But the bad thing is that the cooldown is pretty bad and he can't get stunned like that. That's the only negative thing, but he's like one of the best units in the game, all right? Like you can even upgrade him and he does even more damage. The next one's probably not gonna surprise you, but it's gonna be the mech cameraman. Wow, that's a really cool unit. But look at him, he actually likes the unit because that actually acts like a mythic or even godly unit, you know what I mean? Cause like he does that much damage in Nightmare Mode. You can literally beat it with only using the mech cameraman or at least get through a lot of ways. Because he only costs 400, unlike a lot of units that do that much damage. And his range is crazy when you upgrade him. So I'm gonna upgrade him a lot, there we go. And his range is like super crazy. Which means you can put him pretty far away from like, you know, the stun unit. 
units where, where the units are coming from i put him in a really bad spot but i can literally put him over here and he attacks everywhere and look at how much damage he does he does a thousand damage every 0.6 seconds just for a few upgrades if i upgrade him again look at this okay that's max level and he's doing thousands of damage and his range is like literally crazy like half the map right here and since it's super cheap i can literally put down another one as well and like the more you put down the better and you, you could put a lot of them down because they're very cheap wow they're super cool and you know what look at this i have more money now i can put down another one like right here there we go upgrade him a lot and boom look at that the mutant toad is just getting destroyed every unit is getting destroyed they're destroying all the units exactly look at this the minigun toilet like every toilet is just getting destroyed and we're basically gonna win the game and honestly my santa tv men are not even upgraded that much and i already have like good money and they're super cheap it only takes a thousand upgrades to get them to max level which is crazy and i can literally have an army of them like li literally i'm just gonna have an army and look at this, this giant class so literally has a hundred thousand health and um it's just gonna like literally get taken out by all the mech cameramen you know what i mean there we go look at this oh um uh, this vacuum toilet is getting destroyed as well wait are we doing hard mode or wh what mode are, uh, is this this is hard okay yeah hard mode is pretty good i can't believe what's going on but they're literally destroying all the vacuum toilets look at this they have a hundreds of thousand health and um uh, they're, they're, they're just gonna get destroyed or wait may maybe not wait a minute this vacuum toilet is kind of making it through oh, oh well actually like the range actually helps if you're not using the mech cameraman it's a pretty underrated unit right now because you know godlies came out and everything else but if you're not using it then you might be missing out all right because i'm pretty sure they're going to take down all of these units very easily right here the next unit might be a little bit controversial but this unit is very vital so you can spawn you know units that literally cost a thousand just to spawn and to upgrade they cost a lot right like the godlies like spawning the secret agent multiple times ju just because you know there's a big unit coming or even if you want to spawn a bunch of mech cameraman because you know they're very very overpowered and maybe even some of the other strongest units that are coming later in the video and you want to know what the number one is because you're not going to expect what it is trust me it's going to be a crazy unit but the unit i'm talking about that's one of the strongest units one of the best units is going to be obviously the santa tv man wait the santa tv man doesn't even do anything bro he doesn't even attack the units how are you strong well he does give you money so you can spawn the strong units and without the santa tv man i would literally be able to win nightmare mode or even hard mode for the matter of fact because i couldn't be able to spawn any of these units i couldn't be able to upgrade them and i would lose to these uh measly toilets over here yeah buddy we're skibbity toilets we're literally gonna get you <laughs> we'll have santa tv wait santa tv but wait wait no yeah you get the point. santa tv man is super cool but they're underrated exactly they're super underrated wait now we're getting the juicy part of the list it's gonna be the top three all right and it's gonna be super crazy so for the top three i'm literally gonna put the titan present man and you know why right he's actually super good and look at this he delicious does splash damage with the presence look at this all the units around it is gonna also get damaged and also honestly his fresh upgrade is pretty good as well and you can literally put multiple of the titan present man and you know you, you could literally just have an overpower duo or trio like this for the next one i'm pretty sure you're not gonna disagree with me and we're gonna get to the top two the top one is gonna be crazy all right but i did want to make an honorable mention for the turkey cameraman i'm not gonna lie they're super good and look at what they're doing look at this we're literally at wave 19 and i think it's like hard mode right now and they're like doing super good they're i'm um, literally have auto skip on too and uh look at them like they're just crushing and they actually have very very good dps look at this 2000 damage every 0.25 seconds isn't that crazy like if i literally just upgraded them i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna lose like look at this it's just crazy they're just gonna destroy this boss toilet and look at how many units are coming but obviously the number two unit which is like one of the most greatest units ever is gonna be the upgraded time cameraman and he's like super duper good because his range is good his damage is super good and look at this i'm gonna literally gonna upgrade him and his range just gets like super amazing but he does take a lot of money to upgrade though right so to get him to that level so like look at this 1400 damage every 0.2 seconds and look at the range she's like this range is just crazy just like targeting the toilets over here and if i'm gonna go again you know his damage gets even better and honestly also a plus with this unit he looks super duper cool with the new renovation of the upgraded ton camera look at him he looks super duper cool he's got the center part he's got like all his lasers and stuff and you know what we're gonna upgrade him again there we go and oh my god he looks even better and look at this i guess he slows down units when they're in this area over here that's another positive with this unit and look at this yo he's using his laser gun oh my god he like honestly he looks super duper cool but let's actually see if we can win this hard mode game by only using upgraded time cameraman you know okay we're gonna upgrade him again and okay max level okay look at that he's literally gonna be doing like over 10,000 damage every like 0.2 seconds probably and oh my god he's literally using his two weapons up, up on top look at this yo that's crazy he's like he's one of the most craziest looking units ever i mean i i, I honestly admire him all right and look okay, honestly like all the units are just getting taken down like i bet we're gonna we're gonna beat you're gonna we're gonna beat the whole game with auto skip on isn't that crazy okay you know what okay we're gonna upgrade him again and oh my god max level almost 10,000 damage every 0.2 seconds that is just crazy 
like he's gonna rip through all the units and his range is 60 like that's literally like way better than a bunch of units like he's like the top for the range like one of the top units for the range one of the top units for the damage and one of the coolest looking units ever as well and he's even got a hammer dude are you kidding me right now the hammer looks super cool and he honestly looks like a big daddy i, I was just joking about that you know what let's actually see i'm only gonna be using upgraded titan cameramans let's see if we can win we're gonna sell turkey cameramans as well so uh they don't affect it too much there we go we're gonna tell one upgrade them okay okay i mean we're, we're, we're so far doing pretty good you know a lot of people use them for nightmare mode and they actually win but you guys can't believe what the number one unit are, is all right like the number one unit is literally gonna shock you all and i wait i literally just won and it's literally in the front page as well which is interesting before i do the number one unit we have to do some honorable mentions and the honorable mentions are gonna be the dj Froshman. i mean his dps is crazy and he does damage to a lot of units at the same time and another one is the mess cameraman and i just didn't put him down because his cooldown is very slow but his dps is literally 25,000 as you can see like that's a lot of dps and his range is super good as well but before i show the number one unit i'm actually gonna have to grind for money with the other top unit which is the santa tv man because uh, he requires a lot of money the next one is gonna be pretty shocking but it's literally gonna be the sinister time tv man and he does a lot of splash damage like damage to like units at the same time and he's like kind of cheap to upgrade compared to other godly and units that do as much damage as he does which is honestly a huge plus and his range gets crazy as well and people grind to endless mode literally use them all the time you look at how many sinister time tv man this guy's using just to get to wave 79 now isn't that crazy because uh you know what i'm literally gonna upgrade him as well there we go and he gets cooler and cooler and he can actually deflect stuns as well which is honestly super cool and yeah the mutant toe is gonna get destroyed there we go come on everybody on the screen right now to watch another video that is similar to this and it's a total tower defense video if you want the sinister titan tv man